this season, however, is coming to an end on October 31st. That's this Thursday. All right? We're going to have some trivia to trick and treat you with. Yeah. Trick and treat. This is the best of both. All right. Uh, personally, and on behalf of everybody here at HQ, we love the pumpkins y'all been making. HQ uses Black Rainbow One and Disturbed 184 carved this awesome Tim Burton-esque HQ pumpkin. That was really dope. Great job, you guys. And speaking of Tim Burton, tomorrow is the rescheduled Tim Burton games on HQ Trivia and HQ Words. You heard? Nerd. Yeah. Oh, Wednesday is Mad Science Trivia at 9 p.m. I'm going to be doing a few of my own experiments before the question. So that'll be weird, and I'll try not to blow my eyebrows off. Uh, also, Gilmore Girls Trivia is this Sunday, the first theme of season nine, babies. Yee yee and a woo 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 to you and you and you and you. Next Monday, we're doing Scorsese Trivia. What's your favorite Martin Scorsese film, huh? Wolf of Wall Street, Taxi Driver, Goodfellas. Let us know, because we're going to do trivia all about it. Yeah, and tonight we've got 15 questions all about American Horror Story. You got 10 seconds to tap your answer. Get a question right, you move on. If you get them all right, you are going to win. That's right. Before we get started, I need to know, out of these three, which is the scariest? Clowns, ghosts, or aliens? I use these polls to do research for my comedy. <laughs> I'm writing a joke about one of the three. Depending on what y'all decide. What's the scariest? Clowns, ghosts, or aliens? 51% of you said clowns, and I ain't mad at it. Clowns creep me out. I used to be a clown, actually, at children's birthday parties. My name was Mojo. Mojo the Clown. Yep. Uh, a little fun fact about your boy. All right, check it out. Would you move into a haunted house for $1 million? <laughs> yes, no, or $2 million, please. What's it gonna be? Move into like how long you gotta stay there though? That's what I wanna know. Forever? No, bump that for a million dollars. Mm. Not today, Satan. Mm mm. Ah, for one million dollars, forty-six percent of you would move into a haunted house that you had to stay in for a year. Y'all are bugging. Straight up, that's weird. <laughs> okay, can you guess what this phobia is? Oh, no, I'm going to tell you the phobia, but you guess what it is, okay? What is sinophobia? Is it fear of dogs, fear of clocks, or fear of snow? Sinophobia. I think it's clocks, because I don't know what to do. Clocks, 57%. What is it? It's fear of dogs. All right, wow. Get out of here. Seriously? Only a few more seconds till we start the game. That's crazy. I had no idea. Fear of dogs is sinophobia. I thought it was just people I didn't want to be friends with. <laughs> if you got a problem with dogs, we can't be cool. That's just how I live my life. Matter of fact, I was walking the other day, and uh, I had my dogs in front of me, and we stopped at the corner, and this woman with a bunch of little school kids started walking up behind me, and she said, can you move the dogs away from the kids? I said, you walked up on me. Why don't you move the kids away from the dogs? And the kids laughed. She didn't think that was funny. But technically, she walked up on me, so like, back up, ladies. Dogs and kids. Dogs ain't think about your kids. That was my story. All right. And then I tripped the kitten up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Nothing to it but the HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. What is this character called? Anyone? Oh. No idea. All right. Lance, I don't watch horror movies. Is that Rubber Man, Leatherface, or Crazy Leg? A. Kinky looking mess right there. I'm not going to call it at all. Coming in hot. That's <laughs> a strong Halloween outfit. It's Rubber Man. Yeah, my uh, my main question is, how hot is it under that suit? That's a lot of latex. He ain't got no eye holes or no mouth holes. You can't hear him. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
Not today. Nope, no thank you. 89,365, y'all got that right. We're moving on to question number two. Let's get it on. Uh. Who won a Golden Globe for playing an evil hotel owner known as the Countess? Meryl Streep, Lady Gaga, or Jennifer Aniston? Gaga was in a movie. The role was a little different than A Star is Born, but you can trust Lady Gaga to always bring it. Lady Gaga! 71,347 got it right. She was the countess at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, make sure you grab some extra lives. Right about new. Right about now. Okay, click that little pop-up. Or you can get them whenever you want by tapping on that little heart icon down there on the bottom right side of your screen. Onward to question number three. All right, here we go. Question three. What song is this character dancing to? Take a look. Can you hear it? Oh, buddy. <laughs> What? Okay, was that In My Feelings, Hotline Bling, or Started From The Bottom? Anyone? Ah. Who's it gonna be? I'm sure Matthew Bomber can call a lot of you on your cell phone. Anytime you need his love, call me on my cell phone. He's grooving the Hotline Bling. I know when the Hotline Bling. Late night when you need my love. He even hit that Drake hat. That can only mean one thing. Okay. <laughs> 63,790 of you got it right. Hotline bling. That can only mean one thing. It means the time for question number four. Someone said Yeah, here we go. Q4. Where is this the fifth season set of American Horror Story? Brookfield Heights, Briarcliff Manor, or Hotel Contest. I hope you're keeping count, okay? The fifth season was called American Horror Story Hotel, set at the Hotel oh, Cortez. 57,700 of you got that one right. 24,000 of you thought Briarcliff Manor, and that is not the answer. All right, you don't got to wait till 9 p.m. every night to earn points, babies. H quizzes, you can play our daily challenges anytime. And you can earn points and coins for every question you get right. Do try it out, please. That includes I you, Android users. Uh, yee -yee. Like in general, like Here we go for the children. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Let's get it. Question five. What is this character's name? All right. Is it Delphine Lalori, Annie Wilkes, Annie or Agnes Annie. Mary Winston? The not the hotel. All right, Kathy Bates won an yeah. Emmy for her portrayal of serial killer Delphine Lalori. Yeah, was she spookier here than in misery? Let me know in the chat. 62,686 got Delphine correct. Correct you were. Moving right along to question number six. Oh, hit him with your shoulders. Yeah, make sure you get a point multiplier though, okay? You know what I'm saying? Because the points that you already got, if you get one now, it multiplies those as well, as well as the rest of the points that you're going to get for the rest of the game. You feel me? Yes. So get your levels on before the season finale this Thursday, Halloween. Here we go. Question number six. Which season is this teaser for? That's ugly. Uh, oh, but all right. Is that for Cult, Roanoke, or Hotel? Alrighty. American Horror Story is famous for its creepy crawly teasers. And before season six, they were kept purpose... Purpose... That's a... Purposefully. Yes. And before season six, they were kept purposefully mysterious. Of course. This ended up being for Roanoke. 37,559 sought to tap that answer purposefully. And you purposefully did it. Yeah. It was a little savage. Kind of. Kind of savage. Almost. Almost. Good job, though. Question number seven. Here we go. 
What season does this singing actor appear in? Take a look. Hello, come sit next to me, you fine fellow. You run over there without a second to lose. And what comes next? Hey, bust the move. All right. Was it Coven, 1984, or Apocalypse? I don't think he should be singing that song to those students. Matthew Morrison, a.k.a. Mr. Shu, made his American Horror Story debut this year on American Horror Story 1984. 41,716 knew what I mean. Meant. I couldn't make it through the second You knew what I meant. And you did that. Jelly bent. Here we go. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Just hit it right. I'm sorry. I've just been watching a lot of Eddie Murphy stuff the last couple of days. Oh, damn! <laughs> All right. Question eight. Here we go. The actor behind this character later played what serial killer? Oh, my. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Was it John Wayne Gacy, Ted Bundy, or Charles Manson? It's not me. It's not me. Okay, the actor, John Carroll Lynch, behind horror stories Twisty the Clown, also played serial killer John Wayne Gacy on American Horror Story huh? Hotel. Appropriate, since the real John Wayne Gacy worked as a children's party clown. No relation to this guy right here, okay? Yikes. Three... <laughs> 38,000. That's like 38158 of you got it right. I'll hit the race on next one. Congratulations to 38158 of you. want to read it. All righty, righty. Okay. Question number nine. Let's go to work. Which character portrayed by Sarah Paulson has never killed anyone? Sally McKenna, Billy Dean Howard, or Lana Winters? Who's it going to be? No more erasers. All right. Okay. The medium, Billy Dean Howard, appeared in three seasons. So it's not impossible that she might return for a fourth and kill somebody. But... She hasn't gotten to it yet, making her the only Sarah Paulson character to do so. Billy Dean Howard, y'all. Oh, my gosh. That's a savage question. Whoa. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. 9,716 got Billy Dean Howard. Oh, boy. Use those extra lives. That's what, the, that's what it's made for. That was an Usher song. That's what it's made for. Okay, here we go. Question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. Which American horror story actor like to play the banjo between takes to cheer up the actor? Zachary Quinto, Sarah Paulson, or Kathy Bates? Oh, I didn't hit, hit it on mine in time. It can't be gloom and doom all the time. Okay. Sometimes you got to kick back with some tunes off the banjo. That's where Zachary Quinto and his banjo come in. Is it Quinto or Quinto? Ship's still in. Zachary Quinto. Quinto. <laughs> Quinoa! Zachary Quinoa! Good job, Zach. 12,889 of you got it right, Zachary Quinto. Oh, yes. I wish I had somebody playing the banjo at HQ. That would be lit all the time. Ding, 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 ding. Okie dokie. Question 11. All dogs go to heaven. Here we go. What season do these clowns appear on? Take a look. Oh, my. What? It, oh, my God. Ah! No! Ah! I'm okay. okay. Was it Freak Show, Cult, or Apocalypse? Daddy no like it. All right, here we go. Even though Twisty the Clown terrified us in American Horror Story Freak Show, those creepy clowns were in the seventh season, American Horror Story Cult. Stay away! Stay away from me, evil clowns. I promise, if I see anybody dress up as an evil clown before Thursday and I hit you, it's not my fault. You scared me. 13,342 got it right. Yee-yee. Nice clowns are good, though. I, I mess with nice clowns. If you're a nice clown, holla at your boy. But if you're a creepy clown with fangs, why you got fangs? That's dumb, that don't make nobody laugh at all.
Things ain't funny. Get out of here. Question number 12. What's that smell? Smells like latex balloons. Twisty! Here we go. Q12. Which actor won the most major awards for their American Horror Story performance? Jessica Lange, Lady Gaga, or Kathy Bates? Talk about the most major awards. All right, though, Kathy Bates and Lady Gaga took home an Emmy and a Golden Globe, respectively. Jessica Lang leads the pack with two Emmys, a Golden Globe, and a SAG Award. Nothing but respect for Jessica, mostly because she scares me. 11,812, you got it right. Jessica Lang. Yeah, yeah. All right, only a few more questions remain, babies. Here it is, question 13. Yeah. All right. American Horror Story Apocalypse did not feature characters from which other season? Murder House, Hotel, or Free Show? What's it going to be? American Horror Story has plenty of overlap. Oh, overlap. American Horror Story has plenty of overlapping actors and themes. And Apocalypse features actual characters from Murder House, Hotel, and Coven. But no characters from Freak Show showed up. Try saying that three times fast. No characters from Freak Show showed up. That's all you get. I'm not going to say it again. That's a tongue twister. 6,375. I got it right. Freak Show. That's what I was looking for. Oh, my goodness. We were early. We got one more question until that shows up. Yeah. You want your letter? Let's go to work. <laughs> he said he wanted his letter. Woo! I need some lip balm. Traffic, traffic. Looking for my chapstick. Mmm. Isn't that better? That's better. All right. Question 14. Not the last question. We got one more after this. Q14. Which actor appeared in the most episodes? Here we go. Angela Bassett, Evan Peters, or Sarah Bassett? Going to be more than a woman. All right, this guy shows up to work. You know what I'm saying? Evan Peters has clocked in a whopping 94 episodes, appearing in every season except 1984. Sarah Paulson comes in second with 85 episodes, so she might show up in uh, 1984 with a cameo. We don't know yet. Evan Peters, 5,380 of you got it right. Now we're moving. Let's show, show the thing. This is your last chance to use an extra knife. Get back in for the final round. Question 15. First place. Yeah. David. It's a final round. Here we go. Last question. And then I won't see you again until tomorrow. I'm going to miss you. I love you so much. I told you the first. Hold, it, hold your pen. Let's do it. Don't touch the carpet with the pen. Question 15. Here we go. You got it? Just waiting, waiting for question 15 to... It's not easy, okay? It's not easy. What we're doing here, trying to entertain, get some money away at the same time. We're having a good time. I'm having a good time. You're having a good time. Yeah! Ah, question 15. Here we go. Which artist's song did Elsa Mars not sing? David Bowie, Stevie Nicks, or Lana Del Rey? Who is it gonna be? <laughs> I was just standing here. I was like, all right, here it is. Who's ready? Stevie Nicks has a special place in the American Horror Story universe, but Jessica Lange's Elsa Mars never sings one of her songs. There's life on Mars, but no Stevie. Stevie Nicks was the right answer. If you picked it, you just won. 4,887 players. Just won. H, Q, up. <laughs> this is fun. This is a really fun one. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Going out to all the babies. All the babies out there. 4,887 winners. Congratulations to KCM017, Dice Cars, Taiwan Gray, Screebisy, T Brown, 474, 
Gabby Faber, Poxcan, Easiest JDD, Shauna McD, Roy X3, Ayora, Total Drama, Vile Dana, Vili Dana, Wait, go back down, I was reading some more. <laughs> Rashi Knov, Shibu, Incredible, Cameron, Sweet Pot. What? All right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Congratulations, everybody. Just won HQ trivia. I love you so much. So proud of you. I've been your host, Matt Riches. Holla at your boy on socials at Matt Was Funny. Come back tomorrow for Tim Burton night. Finally. I'll see you when I see you. Have a good night. Sleep tight. And don't let them creepy ass clowns bite. Okay? Get out of here. <laughs>